how to use Shopify collabs. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be taking a look at Shopify collabs, what this can do for you as a e-commerce owner. So a lot of people are quite interested in knowing what Shopify collabs really is, what kind of utilities does it provide to influencers, and what utilities do you get as a uh, retail store owner? So let's get into all the information we have on Shopify Collabs and we will even go into our Shopify store and see the Shopify Collabs app in real time. So you guys can see Shopify Collabs is basically a platform for influencers to be able to find brands that match their overall personalities or their overall image and uh, they can reach out to those brands and basically collaborate with them. Obviously, we are looking at this from the point of an e-com store owner. If you are someone that is running their business on Shopify, then using this platform is going to be amazing then using this platform is going to be amazing for you because you will be able to find influencers that are already interested in promoting products and you can get those influencers to get started with your products. They already fit the uh, specific categorization or the image that you want. Plus, they are interested in selling the product and you will be able to find a pre-existing audience for those types of products. If I was to take an example, if a beauty guru came to promote a makeup brand. Obviously, their audience already loves makeup, so their audience is very likely to buy the products that they show or recommend. Now, let's get into the Shopify store over here. And if we click on search over here and go into apps and sales channels, we're going to open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you've opened up the Shopify app store, you just want to search for Shopify collabs. So this is what we're going to search for, Shopify Collabs, and you will see this application over here. So it should be by the developer of Shopify. You don't want to download any fake uh, integration or application, but this is the little app that you want to download. So simply click on add application over here, and now we will be redirected to our little page and we will just click on install application and from here we are just going to complete the installation process of our application so once this has been installed you will be able to see in the collab section on the bottom left and you will get this application i like to pin it just so it's easier for me to access now once you have uh downloaded this you will see this startup menu so this is for you to get started with finding the influencers that fit best with your overall brand image. So you want to make sure you're able to portray the very specific brand image that you're trying to get out there. So we're going to scroll down and click on get started. Now, first you have to add your email, the one that you want to use to get information about your collaborations. Then you want to know about your target market. The target market is what we're trying to focus on. So let's say for us, it's going to be uh, clothing. And then you have your primary audience. So a lot of people just select everyone in a lot of these categories, but for us, it's going to be female. And you want to really focus on that. And you also want to see your countries. This is very important because you don't want to uh, end up you know, trying to uh, get influencers worldwide while you're only shipping to a few countries. So make sure you only select the countries that you are shipping to or the ones that you potentially think have the best chances. So once you've done that, you're going to agree to their terms of service and just click on finish setup. And just like that, you will get your Shopify collab section. So this is the dashboard. Then you'll have your recruit section on the bottom left. So you guys can see in your recruit section, you have a bunch of different Instagram platforms, Instagram users, and you can click on save over here and you can create lists of Instagram influencers or, you know, influencers in general that you want to use to promote your product. You even have a favorite section where you can favorite certain creators. Then you have an invite section. So you, if you have any invites, you can add them over here and then you have applicants. So applicants are people that have applied to collaborate with you. Uh, this can be a great opportunity for your influencers to come to you instead of you having to go to influencers. Now, 
You can share a link to your application page on any of your social media platforms. You can click on invite creators over here and you can just verify your email and you can create a CSV file containing the emails of your creator contacts just so you can import all of your pre-existing ones over here as well. Now on the bottom left over here, you have your programs. So with your influencers, obviously you are going to give commissions or discounts. So what you can do is just click on new tier over here, add a specific affiliate name. So the influencer name, the affiliate link, and then the uh, basic discount. So let's say a minimum purchase amount of 800 is going to be required for a 10% discount. And I'm just going to scroll down. Then you can even specify if you want this to be uh, limited to customer use, limit the number of times each post can be used in total, or limit to new customers only. So now I can use this to limit to one use per customer, um, and that is it. So I just want this to be used once per customer. And usually we measure that via the email address. You can even limit it to new customers, but I like to limit it to once per customer. Now, after that, you have the apply discount too. If you are providing discounts, if you have like a larger e-commerce store and you're not willing to provide discounts on all of your items, you can click on specific collections and select those collections or products. For example, you collaborated with a influencer A, let's say, and influencer A is a um, beauty guru that promotes makeup and you're selling makeup and clothing, but the discount code that they provide should only be applicable to makeup. So for that, you can click on specific collections and select the makeup collection. Or you can even do this with specific products as well. This can be especially helpful if you have uh, specific collaborations. If you're creating a collaborative product with an influencer, they can provide a discount code for their own specific product and that is it. Now, you also have affiliate commissions you can create. Uh, I don't like to create uh, affiliate commissions sometimes, but I do like to make sure that you know, if it's not a uh, collaboration, usually I like to do collaborations with influencers, but if it's just an affiliate commission, which is a redirection commission, you usually have a percentage amount and then you have 10%. You can add other rules as well. So it can be to a specific collection or product as well. So let's say if they increase your sales in makeup and then and only then they get the commission. So for that, you can click on add rule, click on select on the collection and add that specific collection. Now, after that, you have your subscription product commission rules. Obviously, if you're providing subscriptions, then you want to make it for first sale, every recurring order, or for the total number of recurring orders. So I like to do this for the first sale, and that is probably how you want to set up yours as well. And then just click on create over here, and then a specific affiliate will be created for the influencer to promote. Now, on the bottom left, you have your contacts as well. In your contacts, you basically have all of your team applicants that have been approved for collaborations. Below that, you have payments. So this is going to help you in managing your influencers, how they're getting paid. You can click on get started over here and you can activate auto payments to make sure that it's seamless for you and just click on activate auto payments. And then your influencers will get automatically paid via your um, purchasing setup, whatever you have added, whatever method you have added to manage your purchasing or your plan on Shopify. Now below that, in the end, you have your basic settings. So how you want to appear, your billing, social, basic integrations, and all of your affiliates. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Shopify collabs. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.